Give God praise. Amen. Amen. Uh, we, we had a funeral here yesterday, and uh, it, it, for me, if there's such a thing as a good funeral, it was done yesterday. Uh, everybody that, that, that talked about that young lady that passed, she lived according to what she said. Mm -hmm. And hearing that testimony from, uh, from Friday night till Saturday, it was consistent. And I'm saying, this is how we ought to go out. Mm -hmm. We ought to go out like that. That whatever is, the Bible says that we ought to do. Mm -hmm. We should lift our hand and say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. We should be to the praise and the glory of God. Amen? Amen. Nobody wants to put their uh, head around death, but death is a part of life. Mm -hmm. Amen. We were born to die. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and after we die, eternal life is ours. So please understand that, that I was born to die and to live forever with the Lord. Amen. The message today is, is manner. Bread from heaven. Manna, bread from heaven. In our flesh, we complain, we complain, we complain. Mm -hmm. Things don't go well, we complain. Things go well, we complain. And I'm telling you, when things go well and we complain, because how long is it going to last? Something's going to happen to us. Something, and even though God is blessing us, I'm complaining that it won't last. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to tell you that God is the kind of God that gives us an eternal uh, redemption, an eternal life that's found in his word. Now I want to take you to uh, Exodus chapter 16. Exodus chapter uh, 16. And I'm not going to read all of it, but I'm going to read a portion of it that gives us an idea of what God is doing and what he wants to do for us. We read about the Old Testament folk, but we can bring that forward to ourselves today. Amen? Amen. Exodus, everybody got a Bible? Exodus chapter 16. Exodus chapter 16. Exodus chapter 16. Uh, Anybody live in your house where you don't have to pay for what you for what you get? Oh. Hmm. I wish I did. In Jesus' name. It's mine. It's mine. You that have houses, you that have homes, you you go to the grocery store and tell the grocer that I'm saved. <laughs> Does that work? They might say, me too. Rent time come. You tell the rent man, I'm saved. That don't work. You get eviction notice. In Jesus. Eviction notice. Well, praise the Lord. Let's look at scripture. Everybody got it? Yes. 16. I'm going to start at verse 1. start at verse 1. And they journeyed from Elam. And all the congregation of the children of Israel came to the wilderness of sin. Now that, I thought that pretty clear. Came to the wilderness of sin. Uh, okay. Keep that in mind. Which is between Elam and Sinai on the 15th day of the second month after they departed from the land of Egypt. They're coming out of Egypt. God promised to get them out of Egypt. Okay. This is a promise being unfolded. Then the whole congregation of the children of Israel complained against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And the children of Israel said to them, Oh, that we had died and oh that we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt. When we sat by the pots of meat, and when we ate bread to the full. For you have brought us out into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Some people just a 
never satisfy. Yes. Yes. You were in bondage. Yes. And in bondage, you were being beaten. Yes. Things happened to you. Yes. And yet, being rescued, you remember. Yes. Yes. At least they fed us. They beat us, but at least wow. they fed us. Wow. It's, 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 it's like a, a, a wife saying, uh, he beat me because he loved me. Mm. Do you understand that, that that happens more often than not? When men prey on their wife and actually physically assault them, and somebody is trying to get them out from under that beating, as it were, they say, at least he loved me. Wow. Mm. Wow. He feed me. He clothes me. Mm. Not, not if he beat you and he closed you and he beat you, you need to, you need to. But, but, but for all these years, they were subjected to that. And sometimes, sometimes when we're subjected to something that long, we get kind of accustomed to it. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, don't become accustomed to that. And to the saints of God, don't become accustomed to sin. Amen. Yes. Because Jesus Christ went to the cross. He died, was buried, rose again, and he said, now all power in heaven and earth is given unto me. And when he left, he left us with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And what's the job of the Holy Spirit? The leading God us into all truth. Yeah. Amen. You look at the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, what happened was... Uh, as the Holy Ghost came upon the saints, they were empowered to do great exploits. Mm -hmm. But understand this, Jesus died, rose again, and now the Holy Spirit is in us. Mm -hmm. So we know we no longer have to go out or wait on him to come. He is always with us. He said, I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. So please understand, he's always with you. Yeah. But here you find in the Old Testament that they were complaining. And they said, at least when we were in Egypt, we had meat to eat and we had bread. Then Go, go to verse 4. And the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a certain quarter every day, that I may test them whether they would walk in my law or not. You complain that you don't have any bread, I'm going to give you bread to eat. Mm. And as we continue in the reading, we find out not only did he give them bread to eat, but he gave them meat. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it was so much that he said, I don't give you so much meat that it's going to come out your nostrils. What? That's too much. That's too much. You can have more than enough to eat. But the point, the point of this whole session is that God gave them everything that they needed. They didn't work for it. Mm. They didn't have to earn it. In the, in the morning, I'm, I'm going to give you a manna. And the manna is, is what is this stuff? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what the manna means. Well, what is this stuff? Yeah. They couldn't identify, but what is this stuff? Mm -hmm. But I will give you enough for your family. If you need a whole lot, I will give you a whole lot. If you need just a little bit, I'll give you a little bit. The point is, I will give you enough for your need. God said, I will supply all of your need according to my riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Whatever your needs are, God said he will supply. Do you believe that? That's one thing I, I got from uh, the message on yesterday, the, the, the service on yesterday. God said he will supply all of our need. The husband 
bless his heart, he was standing on the casket on Friday and he said, I wish it was me. Mm. And you were talking to me. And what the Lord put in my spirit is that to say to him, uh, she has done her part and she has finished the course that God had given her. Now, you said that you love her so much.